But first, to uh, the latest on the fracking situation and, um, uh, well, a new twist to a story that we've covered exhaustively, I think, here on BBC Radio York with uh, the news today that Third Energy, which has permission to carry out the controversial drilling at Kirby Misperton near Pickering, is selling its onshore operations to an American company. Who are they and what are they? Well, BBC Radio York's Mike Kemp can tell us more. So what's exactly been announced today then, Mike? Well, there's no real surprise in in what's been said in that we've known for some time that Third Energy has been looking for a buyer. But obviously, we didn't know who that would be. There had been speculation um, that it could be the chemical giant Ineos, which is a a major player in fracking. Now, we're told what's called a sale and purchase agreement has been reached with uh, York Energy Holdings, a company affiliated to an American energy company, Alpha Energy. Now, the sale involves all of Third Energy's onshore operations, including its gas plant at Nat and its fracking site at Kirby Misperton near Pickering. Uh, This uh, announcement has come now ahead of the annual general meeting next week of Barclays, which is the uh, majority shareholder in Third Energy. Alan Lynn, Third Energy's chief operating officer, says they're very pleased uh, that this transaction will secure both the jobs of his team in North Yorkshire, there are about 25 in people employed at Third Energy and the future of the onshore gas business. So what do we know about Alpha Energy then? The Americans buying into, uh, well, buying Third Energy? Well, indeed. I mean, I rang their office in the States and the phone was surprisingly picked up by their chief executive, Tom Reid. He wouldn't expand beyond a written statement uh, which says they're pleased to be working uh, with the Third Energy team to develop the group's energy and generation business and look look forward to constructive engagement with all uh, stakeholders in Third Energy's next stage of development. I mean, this suggests they're keeping the same management and workforce in place. Now, this deal isn't yet done and dusted. It still needs to go through a regulatory uh, process. But Tom Reid did say he hoped um, it would be completed uh, within the next few weeks. This is a, a relatively new company. Well, Alpha clearly Energy. the chief executive is answering the phone. <laughs> Indeed. Um, it only launched in the United States just over a year ago. Uh, and on their website, they describe themselves as a a, a con- conventional energy investor. But the people who have set up this company have a a wealth of experience in the oil and gas industry. Right. Now then, my first question, or at least my, the, the question that's sort of humming around in the back of my head is, these are Americans. Uh, fracking is a fairly big deal in America. It's been, it it's, it's, been, uh, it's been there for some time. They're well used to it. So what does this mean then for fracking in Kirby Misperton? Well, it's obviously too early to say because the deal is yet to be completed. But, and we have to wait for that. Uh, and before, obviously before Alpha, uh, Alpha Energy will we'll comment further on its future plans. Um, but as we know, Third Energy uh, withdrew from uh, its site at Kirby Misperton, what, a, a year ago, while it continued to work towards meeting the uh, government's financial resilience assessment. Um, this included its ability to pay for the cost of decommissioning the site. But this um, deal uh, would seem to change the uh, dynamics of it all, making it uh, more likely that it can meet the government's test. Um, so, well, we have to watch this space to a degree. As for the planning permission itself to frack, granted by the, the County Council, what, nearly a uh, three years ago now, uh, that will simply pass on to the new company. All right, Mike, thanks very much. I'm sure you'll uh, keep us updated on any further developments. Well, listening to that is David Davis. He's a member of Frack Free Rydale, also a a chartered surveyor uh, from uh, Hovingham. David, um, I don't know, what do you make of this then? Have have we got a step closer to fracking in Rydale? Yeah, good afternoon, Jules. Yeah, we probably have got a, a step closer to uh, a company coming in wanting to frack there. And it, as Mike said earlier on, there really is, uh, this has been in the background for a long time. We've known that uh, Third Energy uh, weren't able to raise further funds from their uh, parent company out in the Cayman Islands. In fact, their latest account said uh, the, the funds wouldn't be forthcoming from them to carry out the you know, planned work program, which is fracking and other wells to be drilled in fact in Rydale. So presumably the, the, the one stumbling block to prevent fracking in Rydale was uh, financial probity. It would appear that, um, well, we don't know uh, about the Americans, but uh, uh, if they can prove it, um, what's to stop them starting? Well, a couple of points I'd make there. We don't know what the test is that they have to pass uh, to satisfy the government. Um, you know, we've got a, a new English company, York Energy, 
Uh, but the only thing I've had a chance to do, actually, is have a quick look on Companies House. I notice they, they seem to have been set up in February this year. Um, and obviously the holding company for them will be the American company that's been going uh, from what I picked up from your report preceding this 12 months. Um, a mixture of uh, people on their board, Americans and um, people from other parts of the world, I guess, uh, looking at the names there. So I'm, I'm just thinking... Uh, we, we've no idea what what this actually means. Um, well, I must, I must yeah. admit, I've, I've looked at the website myself, uh, David, and uh, I've gleaned that I'm quoting here: our asset our asset identification process targets current producing assets with identified enhancement upside and potential unconventional upside in the source rock or other bypass pay zones. Might as well be speaking Latvian, really. I've no idea what yeah, any that of that means. I felt. Yeah, true. <laughs> Okay. Um, uh, so, uh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming you're going to be watching this very closely. And, and I don't know, are, are we are we likely to see operations again from yourselves uh, at the Kirby Misperton site? Well, you know, to be honest, I, I don't speak for Factory Rydale. It's a, 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 a quite a large organisation with you know, different groups, different parts of Rydale and people won't be happy if we see uh, a lot of activity starting on site again. And I, I think the, the, the bottom line is, I think we need to know what the government's approach is uh, as far as you know, the financial probity of these companies, because, you know, uh, Third Energy, who's been here, and they're entitled to say this because they bought Viking Energy out in, uh, I don't know, 2011 or 2012. Uh, but when you buy the share capital of the company out, you can say, that you've been operating, if Viking had been there 10, 15 years before, you can say up to 20 years we've been operating here. And, and, and it isn't the case. And because uh, this company are buying out Third Energy uh, and all their share capital, they'll be able to say, well, we've been operating you know, happily and safely here for X many years, uh, which we all know is, is false. Uh, but I think the, the thing that I would like to know is, and, and maybe uh, Kevin Hollenrake, our MP, could help us clear this one up. What is it? What, what, what financial resilience checks do they need to pass? Uh, maybe maybe that's start. a question we can ask Kevin on, a, on another day there for you, David. But uh, appreciate yeah. your time. Thanks very much for joining us. OK, thanks. Bye. Cheers, cheers now. There we are. That's uh, uh, David Davis, member of Frack Free Rydale. Uh, his first thoughts on the news today that Third Energy has been bought out by an American company um, and, um, well, quite what this means for uh, fracking in North Yorkshire. We'll have to...